Hey, Shalom, Shalom. Shalom to the nation of Israel, the elect of Yahweh Shai. And first and foremost, before I get into my lesson, I want to start off giving all praises to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Raka, Kodash. Secondly, double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that teach and rule well today. And salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry pushing the word of Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and all truth and sincerity day in and day out. Shalom. I'm the brother Shaquat Gabar from the Great Millstone, South Carolina Midlands branch, coming at you with another lesson. And once again, these videos or these lessons goes out to you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans which we are the true biblical Hebrew Israelites according to the Bible and also to the Israelite foreigners that scattered amongst the heathen nations and that may look like a typical heathen of another nation. But if your bloodline goes back to Negro, Latino, or Native American descent by the seed of your father, you are considered an Israelite as well. So shalom to you brothers and sisters that scatter worldwide and that's in the faith and exalt the name of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai. Shalom. <clears throat> so basically, I'm just going to get into a, a, a lesson through the spirit touching on the topic of spiritual powers and the miracles. Okay? Because here, now that we're in the time of the coming of the second coming of Yahweh Shai, who the world calls Christ. And we at the point in time of Jacob's trouble that's about to take place, which Jacob represent the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans, the Israelites, okay? And we're heading to the destruction <clears throat> of America, which is known as Babylon the Great, okay? And you're seeing the turmoil that's happening worldwide, but this place, America, is going to go down Horribly, okay? Horribly, man. Okay, hey, this place is heading towards a, a economy crash, a, 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 a martial law, concentration camps, famine, pestilence, uproars of the people, division, civil unrest, okay? And ultimately, the implementation of the MOTB, okay? The micro. And here, amongst Israelites, those that claim that Israelites, when it comes to these other camps outside of Great Millstone, uh, you got a lot of these camps that's teaching that the miracles don't exist. Okay, you got a lot of camps that uh, debunk or trying to debunk or go against the miracles that Yahweh Shai have done. Okay, in particular, one body in Yahweh Shai, as they call themselves an Israelite organization. Okay. And now the latest thing that coming up now, they teaching that Moses during the time of the exodus out of Egypt of the children of Israel during the time of the, the splitting of the Red Sea that they taught that, that they teaching that that's not actually that don't actually uh, that actually didn't happen. That literally didn't happen, man. OK, saying that was allegory or symbolic. But according to the scriptures. The uh the parting of the Red Sea or the Gulf of Suez, Suez the Gulf of Suez actually did happen, man. And we believe that through faith, okay, right along with the rest of the plagues that the Lord cast upon Egypt during that time. Okay? And all the different acts and accounts that Yahweh Bashim Shai, they showed their power through their men when they came to miracles. And we believe. Uh, here in America and soon to come, that Yahweh Bashim Shai is going to raise that standard and he's going to endure his men, the true believers, with that spiritual power, okay? A, a, a way <clears throat> of uh, performing miracles to exalt the name of Yahweh Bashim Shai, man. And it takes faith to believe in that, man. And I always make uh, a statement that here the Most High call us or name us as his nation, his chosen people, Israel, 
Okay? And when you look into the word Israel in the Hebrew, Yasha Allah, meaning he, prince of power. So how Yahweh Bashim Yahushai called us his chosen people and named us Israel, meaning that he, prince of power, and the Lord is not going to give his men, okay, mainly the men, that power to represent Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay, so once again, it's all throughout the scriptures, the, uh, the talks of the miracles, the different accounts that happened in the ancient times, okay? And, and all different accounts letting us know here in the last days that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, once again, is going to store that power here on the earth, man. Okay, through his men. And first first of all, through Yahweh Shai. Okay, because Yahweh Shai is, is going to be the one that's going to endure his endorse his men with that spiritual power, man. Okay, and we believe that here at Great Millstone, man. And we are believing that it's soon uh in the near future it's gonna take place, man. Okay, cause we're gonna need a miracle to get out of the situation that we're in. Okay, let alone when Yahweh shall return with the host of angels, what the world call UFOs, the chariots, that's gonna be a miracle within itself, man. The deliverance of the elect. Okay, because in that time, in the midst of that, uh, that, 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 that prophecy is going to be at the, we're going to be at the peak of the Third World War. Okay, and no missiles are going to be launched, man. Okay, and the only way you can be delivered out of that destruction, especially that's coming here to America, Babylon the Great, because this place is going to be totally destroyed by missiles. Okay, and the Lord is going to deliver his elect out of that judgment here in America, and where the elect is scattered at worldwide. So that's a miracle in itself, okay? But we're coming in a time that we truly believe that Yahweh Bashim Shai is about to give his men that spiritual power to perform these miracles, to glorify Yahweh Bashim Shai, and on top of that, to gather the rest of the elect, which considered, which considered 144,000 and the one-third, that remnant, that destined to be saved. And a lot of our people, when we bring the topic up of spiritual power, okay, they think that it's a, a myth. They think that we're crazy, okay, because they're not spiritual. They are natural men, okay? And you even got that, that, that low understanding amongst individuals that claim that they're teachers of the Bibles, claim that they're prophets, man. As I may mention, one body in Yahweh Shai, as they call themselves. They call themselves one body in Yahweh Shai, but it go against the miracles that Yahweh Shai has stated here in the scriptures. Okay, saying that it was witchcraft if he did perform it. Okay? Hey, if, if Yahweh Shai performed witchcraft, what about the the uh the account when Yahweh Shai died and was crucified on the cross and was resurrected? Okay, after the third day. Okay? Hey, that's spiritual power within itself, man. Okay, for an individual to to die and, and, and to be raised up after three days, man. Okay, and, and, and come back in this uh, a human form, come back as a living being. And that show you the power of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh. Okay, and that was a miracle. The sacrifice that Yahweh Shai done for the nation of Israel, start with the elect, that's just, that's just a miracle within itself, man. And we're in the time when Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai uh, uh, turning things up. As the apostles and elders call this year, 2022, the year of the turning up of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And we starting to see a lot of our people that truly don't believe in the scriptures. Even individuals that claim that they're Israelites, man. Okay? And like I say, man, you bring the topic up of spiritual power out there on the highways and byways or doing sit-down lessons such as this. Okay? Majority of our people that come across our videos, they... They scoff and scorn, okay, because we're uh, letting them know that spiritual power is actually biblical and is prophesied to come, okay? Because look at the state that we're in as the so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American men, okay, or Israelite men, and we're on the bottom, and we're being ruled by our enemies, man, okay? We're in the worst condition ever, man, and it's going to take a, a, a miracle through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai to deliver us, man. And, and, the, and the miracles is already on display by the Lord 
sending the Holy Spirit down on his prophets to preach this word and to wake up the elect of the nation of Israel, man. Okay, that's power within itself, man. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into the um the scriptures. Okay. And this is Luke chapter 24, verse um, I started at verse 49. And it says, Behold, I send the promise of my father upon you. And this is Yahweh Shai speaking. But tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endured with power from on high. And that's actually going into spiritual power. Okay, and knowing this truth, the, the full understanding of the truth, it's a taste of spiritual power. Okay, because we according to the scriptures, we know that two-thirds of the nation of Israel is not going to receive this truth. And therefore, they're going to be left to be destroyed, man. They're going to get caught up into the judgment and the plagues that the Lord got sent or, or, or have ready to be set to be on this to, to come upon this this place, this earth. Okay, and here in America. Okay. But understanding the truth is a it takes a spiritual mind frame to have this understanding and the knowledge, the true power of Yahweh Bashim was shot. Okay, that's the spirit. So that's a form of, of spiritual power. But Yahweh Bashim was shot is going to intensify it more, man. Okay, because right now the Lord gave the spirit to the prophets to prophesy. Okay, once again, that's a a, a, a version of spiritual power within itself, man. Okay. But when the Lord gives his man that, that spiritual power in the physical form, the, the, the really able to do miracles, okay, to glorify Yahweh Bashim Shai, a lot of our people are, 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 is really going to take heed then. A lot of these scoffers and scorners, a lot of these non-believers, a, a lot of these individuals amongst Israel that talk against the spiritual power, okay? So let me read that again. Luke chapter 24 Verse 49, and behold, I send the promise of my father upon you. So this is a promise, okay, that Yahweh Bashim Yahushai made unto the nation of Israel, starting with the elect, okay, that he's going to give his men that spiritual power, man. And it says, but tarry ye, tarry ye in the city of Jerusalem until ye be endured with power for on high, okay, that, that spiritual power from on high, okay, that the Lord gave it to the disciples. That came the apostles back then, the believers back then. Okay. And how much more in this time now that we need a miracle? Okay, that the time that Yahweh Bashim Al Shai about to, to show his power, man. So that's it on that. Let me get this. Acts chapter 1, verse 5. Okay, so this was going into when Yahweh Shai resurrected. And the disciples came to see him, okay? And they thought that, you know, the kingdom was going to be restored back then. But listen to what Yahweh Shai told them. This is Acts chapter 1, verse 5. For John truly baptized with water, but ye shall be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days hence. And he was telling his disciples that, the believers back then, okay? Starting with the, tw uh, the 12, okay? And it says, and when they therefore were come together, they asked of him, saying, Lord, would thou at this time restore again the kingdom to Israel? So they thought Yahweh Shai was, you know, when he resurrected, okay, they thought the kingdom was going to be restored then, okay? So there was a quarry, man, okay? And he said unto them, it is not for you to know the times or the seasons which the Father had put in his own power. Yeah, because that the time back then, okay, that the apostles or the disciples thought that the kingdom was going to re be restored back then, the rulership back into Jerusalem, it wasn't that time, okay? We had to had that falling away first, okay? Which we're in the time now, okay, that, you know, we fell as a nation when, you know, ever since 70 AD, the time of captivity, you know, this present time, we're being ruled by the biblical Edomites, the so-called white race here in America, Start from their elites on down. Okay. Now we're in the time of the Lord restoring the power to Israel and, and, the, and the salvation of Israel through Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai and the kingdom being restored. Okay. After the great destruction of this place and the downfall of our enemies. 
of these heathen nations, starting with Edom. Verse 8, but ye shall receive power. Okay, so we're going to receive power. And this is spiritually power, but it's going to come in a physical form, man. And it takes faith to believe that. Okay, see, majority of people don't understand the God of the Bible, the creator of all things, Yahweh, the heavenly father and the son, Yahweh Shai. Okay, it's not little ordinary power that our people think they they think they are. Okay, they extraordinary, man. Okay, Yahweh Bashimah Shai, their ways and, and their supreme power uh, far surpass the carnal mind of majority of the people here on the earth today. And for us, the hopeful elect, okay, it's a, a blessing that the Lord store upon us that we're able to understand the truth and know the will of Yahweh Bashimah was shot. Okay, and to know that there's no limit to the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay, hey, seeing the creation of the earth and everything that exists today here on the earth, it, 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 it surpassed the, 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 the average person mind. Okay, as they trying to give credit to scientists or uh, science or evolution. Okay, and, and not trying to give the credit to Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Okay. So the, the spiritual power, the miracles, is going to come because it's biblical prophecy. As again, Acts chapter 1, verse 8. But ye shall receive power after that the Holy Spirit is come upon you. And the Holy Spirit starts with what? Us knowing this truth. Okay, us knowing the true names of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Knowing the prophecies of these scriptures. Knowing who we are. Trusting in the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay? That's the Holy Spirit, a separate spirit. The word holy means sanctified or separate, okay? And the spirit that Yahweh Bashim is about to store upon the elect is separate uh, um, uh, from all other nations, man, okay? Even two-thirds of our people there, the Lord's chosen people there, Israelites, okay? But right now, they don't have the spirit that the elect is, is, is going to have, man, that the elect have, Okay? And it says, and ye shall be witness unto me both in Jerusalem. And that was true. Okay. Then the, the, the believers start with the, the disciples back then believed that Yahweh Shah was the Messiah in Jerusalem. Okay. But check this out. Okay. And ye shall be witness unto me both in Jerusalem. Okay. And the Lord gave his men of the disciples and the believers back then spiritual power. Okay. To heal. Okay. The, the furthermore uh, push the ministry to gather those that truly believe in Yahweh Shah, that he's the Messiah and the son of the heavenly father, Yahweh. And it says, and ye shall be witness unto me both in Jerusalem and in all Judea and in, and in Samaria and unto the uttermost part of the earth. And it says, and unto the uttermost part of the earth. Okay, and that's going into what? The uttermost part of the earth is talking about America. Okay, so this is prophecy. Okay, and where the elect is scattered at worldwide outside of uh, Jerusalem, outside of Israel, man. Because the elect is scattered worldwide. Okay, so that's going to be a magnificent event that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is going to do, man. Store that power unto his elect men that's scattered worldwide, especially here in America. Okay, because this is where this, the truth is heavily pushed. This is where the Great Awakening took place. Okay, here in America, starting from our apostles and elders and the, 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 the elders that were before them in one West. Okay, uh, until the time now that you see in this word not only being pushed here in America, but worldwide. Okay, all, th all throughout different parts of the region of the earth, you have this word being pushed and the elect being gathered. And the men of the Lord is out there teaching, okay? And mainly, by the way, of the internet, okay? And which is another form of spiritual power and a miracle itself, man. How this word has been pushed worldwide, man, through the preaching of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua prophets. Okay, so the Lord said, and unto the uttermost part of the earth, okay, the Lord is going to uh, uh, give his men that power. 
okay, to glorify the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And I pray me and my Akim that we're part of that number, man. Okay? And a lot of our people, then they're going to be willing. Matter of fact, let me get that. A lot of these uh, false prophets amongst Israel and the, the congregation that's taking heed to their false doctrine that 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 these false prophets teaching that spiritual power is a myth. It, it doesn't exist. It's not biblical. Okay, in particular, one body. Okay, you got other individuals that call themselves Israelites. That when the topic of spiritual power come up, or the average so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American that completely into the world, when we talk, tell them about the spiritual power and the, the miracles that the Lord is going to do through His men. To be a representation of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, and they laugh and scorn against that, man. But let's get this right here. And this is one of my favorite topics, man. A spiritual power. Because once again, man, we're Yahshua Allah, He Prince of Power. So one of the things you look for, mainly, you know, to, to be saved and to be fully righteous, and Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai have mercy upon us, and, and, and the Lord forgive us for our sins. But also that, that that spiritual power, man. Okay? The power that the Lord is going to give his men, give the nation of Israel. Okay? Here the Lord done gave all these heathen nations a form, some form of power. Look at, look at Esau. Esau, the rulership that he had, that's given to him by the Heavenly Father and the Son. Okay? He didn't uh, conquer everything on his own. His power is the, the sword, the witchcraft. But that's on the left hand side, man. How much more on the right hand side when it comes to Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, uh, elect men of the nation of Israel? Let me get this. And the, the time is going to come, man. Okay, when the Lord is going to show his power. And we're starting to see that now. Okay, we're starting to see the prophecies come full force now. Full throttle, man. Okay. And it says, Psalms 110 and 3, thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power. So when all hell break loose, okay, and, and, and things go to the go from uh bad to worse, or worse to worsen, to the point of no return, that no doubt that all hell is gonna break loose and uh, everything is on a whole intensified level of a different mind frame. Okay, when these people ain't gonna be on, they're gonna be unstable. They ain't gonna know what to do. But Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is gonna have the spirit on his men, okay, to be on uh, comfort. Okay, one of those comforts is through the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, through that power, man. Okay, and hey, we know the trials and tribulations are gonna come, but Lord said those that wait upon Him shall renew their strength, and I'm gonna get that. Okay, and long as we're waiting. And the Lord is going to definitely act on our behalf. He's going to defend us, man. Okay? And, and part of that defending is the spirit of the Lord covering and that spiritual power. Okay? To, to perform miracles. Okay? To, to come against our enemies. Okay? When Esau come in with that sword, when he come in with martial law, these strict legis legislations, Okay, and a lot of people they don't know what's going on, even though it be told to them by the prophets. But when all hell break loose, then they're going to be willing. Then they're going to be willing to try to seek the Lord men or seek the word of Yahweh by Shemiah was shot. Psalms 110 and 3 Thy people shall be willing in the day of thy power and the beautiness of holiness from the, from the womb of the morning. Thou hast the dew of thy youth. So once again, the Lord is going to restore that power back unto Israel. Okay, the, the men of Israel, the house of David. Okay, you know about the different accounts uh, of David and his mighty men. Okay, that went into spiritual power. Okay, different accounts when we went against our enemies back then. And how we were small in number when it comes to us as a nation, but went against mightier nations than us and how we uh, defeated them. And that's all through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim was shot. Okay, and that's going to come in this time again. Okay, and ultimately forever, man, when Yahweh Shah established the kingdom. <clears throat> but majority of our people, they're going to be willing. 
Okay, when the Lord gives his men that power and these miracles start to be uh, performed. Okay. And a lot of uh, the, the one third of the elect is going to be healed. Okay. And, and you know, and, and be saved through the government of Yahweh of that of the elect, the 144,000. Okay. A women, a part of that Isaiah chapter four, verse one, when it says seven women should take a hold of one man in that day, and yeah, that's going to be due to a major part of spiritual power, man. Okay? With these women going to be defenseless. And they're going to have to have a, a man of the Lord. Okay? The scriptures also say that a man should be more precious, more precious than fine gold. Okay? A hiding, a hiding place from the wind. That wind represents the, the hell that's going to be breaking loose. Okay? And that hiding place is going to be that, that men. That man, that elect man that Yahweh Hashem is going to be with through the spirit, man. Okay? That the one third is going to come up on the, uh, under of, man. Okay? And that's going to be due by the spiritual power, which is miracles. And that's what my friend we have to have, man. Okay? And we always make mention that when it comes to this faith, you know, and, and this word, you can't be thinking low level. You got to have a high level of thinking that us serving Yahweh Bashim Shai, once again, there's no limit to the Lord's power. Nothing is impossible with the power of Yahweh Bashim Shai. And we have to have that mind frame going into the time of Jacob trouble. Okay? So once again, man, a lot of our people, they're going to be willing in that day. They're going to be willing to listen. They're going to be willing to is trying to seek Yahweh Bashim Shai. And for a lot of them, okay, to put a number on it, the two thirds, hey, they're not going to receive it. Okay, the only the elect is going to receive mercy in those times. And once again, I pray that I'm part of that number and the rest of the sincere brothers as well. Okay, because hey, it's about to go down, man. And here we in the time of the most, uh, the most serious times ever approaching Jacob's trouble. And you got individuals that claiming they're Israelites that don't believe in the, the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Don't believe in the, 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 the miracles, the spiritual power. Don't believe in the name. Okay, a lot of these Israelite camps, they tell you to side with the devil, to bow down to this beast system. Okay, they, they teach their congregation, or telling their congregation to take the JAB. Okay, some of them are already take the, taking the 501c3 charter, a gag order. Okay, they're not to speak the truth. Taking away the name of the Lord the Heavenly Father and the Son, teaching against the MOTB for what it really is, that is the micro, okay, the RFID chip, okay? Hey, all hell is about to break loose, man. Okay, we seeing the coming of the, the, the famine, uproars of the people. Okay, Lord say it's gonna be a time like no other. So we have to expect a miracle. How the salvation is written, for the elect here in these times is written in a, 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 a form of a miracle. Okay, a deliverance through a, 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 a supreme power, angelic power from on high, man. Okay? And there's no other way. There's only one way, and that's through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Now, let me get this. And Yahweh Shai was, was blessed with the spiritual power, okay? Yahweh Shai was doing miracles ever since he was a young man, okay? It, uh, it's a scripture saying that Yahweh Shai did so much miracles that they couldn't, they couldn't even be contained in all the books, man, okay? That he did so much miracles. That there wasn't even enough books to, to state it. But what we do have is enough to know that Yahweh Shai was shy or Yahweh Shai had the power, the miracles, okay, for believers back then and for us to learn to know today that we need Yahweh Shai. We need that, that power, that covering, okay? And Yahweh Shai is going to store that upon his men, the true believers, okay, which is the elect. Now, let me get this since I made mention of that. Okay, because what he told Philip, 
I'm going to start with um, verse 10. John chapter 14, verse 10. Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? And that's what you have today as well, amongst these other camps. Okay, such as Sakari. Okay, that nine, the nine, the, uh, the son, Yahweh Shai. Okay, and, and exalting Yahweh. But, but Yahweh Shai has to be exalted as well, man. Okay, the Most High, Yahweh set Yahweh Shai up to be our Savior. To be our Lord, to be our King, okay. And Yahweh Shai is to be worshipped, okay. A lot of these camps don't push Yahweh Shai. Don't believe in Yahweh Shai, although they call themselves Israelites. But the Scripture says, verse ten: Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words, the words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself. But the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. So the the uh, 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 Yahweh Shah is giving credit to the Heavenly Father, okay? Yahweh. That through those miracles, through the works that Yahweh Shah performed and the, 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 the preaching that he was doing back then, okay, with, the, with the, the 12 back then and the believers back then, okay, that was given to him through his Father, okay, the spirit that he received. Okay, and the elect is going to receive that same spirit. Okay, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in the times that we're in. Let me continue on. Okay, so the works come from the Heavenly Father through Yahweh Shai at this time. And it says, verse 11, believe me that I am in the Father and the Father in me, or else believe me for the very works sake. Yeah, it's because Yahweh Shai was doing those miracles back then. Okay, and back then you had a lot of people uh, uh, gathered to Yahweh Shai by those miracles. Okay, and Yahweh Shai didn't boast of himself. Okay, he boasts of the Heavenly Father that stored that power unto him. Okay, and back then you had individuals that, that didn't believe in Yahweh Shai. Okay, saying that he got his power from, from devils, um, Beelzebub, Satan. Okay, they constantly mock. And scoff Yahweh Shai when it came to the miracles. Okay, you had different accounts that Yahweh Shai, he healed the blind, he healed the sick, the lepers, the lame. Okay. And it says, continue on, verse 12. Verily, verily, the word verily means truly. Okay. Verily, verily, I say unto you, he that believeth on me, the works that I do, shall he do also okay and it's going into the elect okay because the elect is unto yahweh shai that was given to him by his father okay so the the elect is going to believe on yahweh shai therefore what they're going to do the same works as yahweh shai stated okay so we we're looking for great things to come us of the hopeful elect okay the true believers and it says, the works that I do shall he do also, and greater works than these shall he do, because I go unto my father. Okay, so Yahweh Shah say that the works that he did, the believers, okay, that believe on him, they're going to do those same works, but the Lord say even greater. Okay, so that show you the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, man. And we're going to need that power. We're going to need the miracles of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai in the times that we're coming into, man. Okay, once again, look at the situation that we're in. We're in this uh, uh, this captivity. Okay, we're in a, a low state. We're in these uh, corrupt bodies. Okay, that get sick. Okay, dealing with all type of ailments. Catching all type of hell. Okay, and we're at the point of a week now. But we're strong in Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah through this work. And it's going to be more manifest when the time of Jacob trouble come. Because we're going to need the Lord protection, man. Okay? Yeah, we're weak, man. Okay, what the, What can we do against the force of Esau when he come in as that flood? Okay, when he, got, when he cut off all uh, sources to, to food. Okay, all the resources to food, water, clothing. Okay? It's going to take a miracle, and that's going to be given... 
to the elect men from Yahweh Shai to sustain, man, to get through. Okay, and once again, it starts with the faith. Okay, and being of, being of the Lord's elect. And it says, verse 13, And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, and that the Father may be glorified in the Son. So that's important. Okay, to actually have faith in the praise, the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, because we're going to need those names. Okay, the, the, to be delivered. To deliver us out of the time of trouble that we're about to enter into. Okay. So that's why we always exalt and push the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Not Christ. Okay, not Most High. Um, uh, IYC always make mention Most High Christ blessed, not a higher Yeshaya that GOCC teach. Okay, because those names are not the name of the true Heavenly Father and His Son. It's Yahweh and the Son name Yahweh Shai. Okay, the Heavenly Father name Yahweh, which is He is, He exists in the Paleo Hebrew, and the Son name is Yahweh Shai, meaning He is the deliverer. In the Hebrew as well, okay? Our heritage uh, of our language. That's our, our language, the Hebrew. And it says, So whatsoever you shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. And that's what it's all about, okay? So when Yahweh Bashim al Shah store that power amongst his men in the times that we're coming into, and we're going to glorify Yahweh Bashim al Shah, okay? And it says, and if you shall ask anything in my name, I will do it. And that's what the faith, the faith we have to have, okay, from now and here on out, man. Okay, and we pray to Yahweh Shemel Shai that he increase our faith, increase our wisdom, okay, and, and, and increase our strength, man. Okay, and the Lord is going to do that. Because he said, anything you ask in my name, you shall receive. And one of the things we're going to be asking for is the protection of the Lord and that spiritual power, man, the covering of the Lord. And the Lord is going to bestow that power, okay? Because it's already written. Um, that's it on that. That's the point. Now, let me get on. Um, matter of fact, I'm going to go to Matthew chapter 10. Okay, and start with verse 5 because as I made mention, and Yahweh Shai, when he did those miracles back then, or uh, uh, healing, he had he had the disciples right along with him. And he gave the disciples spiritual power to heal also with him during the time of the ministry. Okay, during the time of Yahweh Shai ministry. This is Matthew chapter 10, verse 5. And these 12 sent, uh, Salaki. And these twelve Yahweh sent forth and commanded them, saying, Go not into the way of the Gentiles. Okay, the Gentiles in this statement, or in this verse, going into the heathens. Okay, because the Lord is only dealing with the nation of Israel, no other nations. Okay, but we have, as, um, as us as a nation, we are scattered amongst all other nations, but the Lord is only dealing with those from Israelite descent. Negro, Latino, and Native American descent. Okay? These other nations, they are our enemies. And the Lord is coming back to bring judgment upon them, start with the so-called white race, uh, which are the biblical Edomites. But it says, Go not into the way of the Gentiles, and into any other any and into any city of the Samaritans, into ye not. Because you had heathens back then dwell in that land. Okay. Okay, which was the, the Cushites, which are, you know, Hamites. They're heathens as well. Verse 6, but go rather to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. So once again, the Lord sent the message and the 12 disciples to the lost sheep of the house of Israel. Okay, which it stands today. The Lord is only sent to the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. Okay. And that's where we are there, preaching. And telling you, Negro, Latino, Native Americans, that the kingdom of heaven is for you. That the Lord, the God of the Bible, is our power. Okay? 
But we understand that the elect at this time is going to receive it. And two thirds of our people, they're going to have to perish and come back in the kingdom. <clears throat> That's how it's written. And it says, verse seven, and as ye go, preach saying, the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Okay, we're telling you that. Okay, the kingdom of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is at hand. And we know that through this word and through the prophecies that's coming to pass. And the waking of the elect and this word being preached. Okay. And these and you know the prophecies, the signs are here. Let me get to the point. Verse 8. And it says, Heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, and cast out devils. Okay. And, you know, one body in Satan, they'll say that this is not actually literal, literal miracles that all been symbolic, which it can be. OK, because through this word, the lek is being healed. OK. It being gathered back into Yahweh Bashim Shai. OK, the lek is being healed spiritually. OK. But for the time, hey, we still have to catch hell in these corrupt bodies. We still have to be in this vexation world. OK. So in, in here in this 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 point in verse eight of Matthew chapter ten, they was actually and literally physically healing people. Okay, and it says, heal the sick, cleanse the lepers, raise the dead, and cast out devils. Freely ye have received, freely give, and that's how it's going to be. Okay, because all the credit is going to be given unto Yahweh Bashim was shot. Okay, when these miracles and these healings take place, okay, through the Lord anointing, anointings uh, of his men. Okay, they're being anointed with these, 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 these special gifts, these spiritual powers. Okay, and Paul made mention of that. You're going to have some with uh, spiritual gifts of, of healing. Okay, uh, 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 praying. Okay, and, and that's what it's going to take. Uh, ultimately, the faith in the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay, but the Lord say that his men is going to be doing these miracles, man. As he gave that power to the disciples back then. Okay. So the Lord always showed his power through his men. And you had the time of Acts. Matter of fact, I'm going to get that. Where they had performed that miracle. When they came together on the day of Pentecost. And, you know, and all the, you know, devout Jews, Israelites that was coming from other countries, from amongst the heathens that came to hell the, 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 uh, the day of Pentecost in Jerusalem. And the Lord gave them the power to able to, to speak in the Hebrew tongue, okay, to, with the disciples and the believers that was in Jerusalem, okay, because you had those Jews or those Israelites that was amongst those other nations, and they were speaking the, the language of those, those heathens. OK, but when they came together at that specific time at Pentecost, they all of them spoke in the, the Lakawan, Lashawan Kadash, the pure tongue, the Hebrew. OK, so that was a, a, a spiritual power within itself. OK. OK, a miracle. And it says Acts chapter two, verse one. And when the day of Pentecost was fully come. They were all with one accord in one place, okay? And suddenly there came a sound from heaven as of a rushing mighty wind, eh, the spirit, okay, that came upon them. And it fell at the house, and it filled at, Salaki, and it filled all the house where they were sitting. And there appeared to them cloven tongues like as of fire, and it set upon each of them, eh, the, the spiritual power. Okay, that spirit from the heavenly father. Uh, and, you know, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak with other tongues as the spirit gave them utterance. Okay. And they were dwelling at Jerusalem, Jews, Jews devout men out of every nation under heaven. Now, when these, when this was noise abroad, the multitude came together and were confounded because that every man heard them speak in his own language. Yeah. So when they started speaking in, you know, the, the Hebrew language, okay. Or, you know, speaking in the tongues to understand each other, you had individuals that didn't know what, what was going on. They was amazed. 
okay? Because certain members they knew that was uh, doing that act of, of being involved and in speaking in those holy tongues, meaning, meaning on language. The, the, the tongues mean language, okay? They was amazed because they'd be like, you know, how can this man speak this language, uh, Pacific, like Hebrew? How can he speak Hebrew? But he was taught to speak uh, uh, um, uh, uh, Grecious or Greek, okay? Or, or, or to speak the, the language from, from where they've been from or those different other countries outside of Jerusalem, okay? And it says, and they were all amazed and marveled, saying one to another, Behold, are, are not all these which speak Galilean? Okay. And how and how hear we every man in his own tongue wherein we were born? Okay. And it's going to give you the scriptures of where those Israelite men, those Jews, were scattered amongst uh, when it comes to those other nations outside of Jerusalem. that they, they pick up on their languages. Okay, it says um, Partherans and the Medes and Elamites and the Dwellers and Mesopotamia and Judea and Cappadocia and Pontus and Asia, um, Pargaga and pa and Pamala and Egypt. And in the parts of Libya about Sharon and strangers of Rome, Jews and proselytes, Creeks and Creeks and Arabians, Arabian. We do hear them speak in their own tongues the wonderful works of Yahweh. Okay, so there's these men that was uh, from these other. You no, know, there was Israelite men that were scattered amongst these other nations. When they came to the the, the, the day of Pentecost, hey, they spoke their language, uh, you know, uh, amongst each other, but they understood each other, man. Okay, and th and that was a maze, uh, uh, to the to the crowd. Okay, and it says, and they were all amazed and were in doubt, saying one to another, "What mean if this?" Okay, so you had individuals that was amongst that crowd that scoff and scorn, just as what you have today. Okay, when we talk about the the the, the, uh, the ancient times, of uh, biblical portions, of uh, different accounts, uh, uh, um, when that spiritual power was bestowed. Okay, at this time, like in the Acts. Okay, we bring spiritual power up, man. You know, a lot of our people they you know look at us as we're crazy, man. Okay, because once again, they are spiritually discerned and they lack understanding when it comes to the, the, the scriptures. Okay, verse 13, and other mark and say, these men are full of new wine. Yeah, kind of, so they mark and say that they basically they were drunk. They didn't know what they was doing. They just was talking and just rambling. Okay, just speaking out of their mind. Okay, those are the ones that didn't receive the understanding. Okay. They was blind from the fact that at that time that Yahweh Bashimel Shah actually did that miracle, did that act amongst those men with the with the, the twelve, okay, to show the power of Yahweh Bashimel Shah. But those scoffers and scorners, those the ones that make mockery of that 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 miracle, that act back then, hey, the Lord blinded them from receiving or what really was going on, and that's here to this day, the same as today. When it comes to the truth being presented to me, to to you Israelites, okay, majority of them they're blind from the fact of what's really happening, okay. When it comes to the words and the prophecies and the miracles of Yahweh Bashim Shai, about His word being preached, so therefore they result into scoffing and scorning, and making mockery, ultimately being non-believers. And those individuals that's in that mind frame, and hey, they're gonna perish, they're gonna be destroyed, okay. So that's what I wanted to, you know, get in that account. And I get a couple of more scriptures and uh, get ready to finish up. Okay, so once again, man, we're going to need the protection of Yahweh Bashim Shai. And one of the protection, okay, is the spiritual power. Okay. Because yeah, Esau ready to come in as that flood, man. Matter of fact, I'm going to get that. Isaiah chapter 59 
verse 19. <laughs> and it says, Isaiah chapter 59, verse 19. So shall they fear the name of the Lord from the West. Okay, and aren't we in the West? Okay, the Western Hemisphere. Okay, Westernized, uh, Western civilization, as they say it. Okay, over here in America. Okay, and this, once again, this is where this word, this where this, this is where this word sprung from. Okay, the truth over here in Americas. Okay, in particular, Babylon the Great. Okay, now this word is worldwide. And it says, so shall they fear the name of the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Shai, from the west, and his glory from the rising of the sun. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, okay, the enemy, okay, who's our main enemy? Okay, Esau, Edom. And they're going to come in as a flood, okay? A flood is known to be what? Overwhelming, okay? And that's going to come in the form of Esau, Edom military, okay? They storm troops, okay? Uh, 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 the Goshen troops, okay? All the uh, martial law troops, the, the EU, the UN, Okay, all these nations that got a foot into coming over here when they come to the military force. Hey, you saw got all type of archery, man, all type of weapons that that the average Negro, Latino, or Native American can't even fathom. Okay, stuff that they see in these movies that our people think it's a myth and think it's just a, a Hollywood production. No, you saw actually got these things, man. Uh, laser guns. Okay, super soldiers. Okay. Uh, 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 robots, dog robots with, with 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 weapons on them. Okay. Let alone the tanks, the guns, the fighter jets. Okay. And as us, as a nation, we don't have no standing military. Okay. The the, the guns that our people taking up, a lot of these camps or these Israelites that trusting in the the gun. Trying to be militant, and hey, they're not gonna uh, 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 do anything against the 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 sword of Esau Edom, okay? That the Lord blessed Esau Edom with. Our blessing is in the protection and the belief in Yahweh Shemuel Shai, which once again that's going to lead to what that spiritual power. That's going to lead to that defense, okay, for the Lord's elect. And it says. When the enemy shall come in like a flood, the spirit of the Lord shall lift up a standard against him. And that standard going into that spiritual power. Okay, you look into that word standing, standard means to flee, to fly, okay, to put the put the flight. Okay, that's that spiritual power, man. Okay, uh, that's it on that. So the Lord's going to lift up that standard in the form of the spiritual power. Okay, a miracle. And the different accounts that the Lord has stated here in the, in the scriptures. Okay, during the time of uh, uh, Moses, Elijah, King David, uh, 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 Yahweh Shai, and, you know, in the 12, and Samson. Okay, all those different accounts where those men was put in a, a position of difficulty. Hey, the Lord raised them up with that spiritual power. Okay, the Lord made it a way through a miracle to deliver them out of that the situation. So how much more now that we at the greatest time of prophecy, man? And the Lord, uh, uh, once again, reclaiming his glory here on the earth. Okay, and the scripture says things were written for time, were written for our learning. Okay, so we can have here today the hope for, the hope in, okay, to know that if our, the, the power that we believe in deliver our forefathers back then, and that's the same power today, how much more for us to believe now and know that Yahweh Shem is going to deliver us now, okay, through his power. So once again, the Lord is going to lift up that standard. Let me get this.
Isaiah chapter 40, verse um, 27. And it says, Why says thou, O Jacob, and speakest, O Israel, my way is hid from the Lord? And that's majority of our people mind frame, okay, the two-thirds, okay, to be exact. Okay, they don't believe in Yahweh Shah. They don't think uh, 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 salvation is coming. They don't think that we're the Israelites. They don't think that the Lord is going to deliver. Okay, they put their trust in Esau, Edom, in this system, putting their trust in America. America. Okay, they think this is their miracle. They think this place is their hope. But throughout all the years, it's evidence and history show, and still to this day, that this place is our captivity. Okay, that this place... It's our oppression. Okay? And our most majority of our people, they 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 they're putting their faith in something physical or what they can see, something tangible, okay, that ready to perish away. All this is about to be destroyed, man. Okay. So majority of our people, they don't believe that Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah exists, let alone the power of the Lord. And it says, uh, and it says. Uh, why says thou, O Jacob, and speakest, O Israel, my way is hid from the Lord, and my judgment is passed over for my power? Okay. Verse 28. Has thou not known, has thou not heard that the everlasting God, the Lord, Yahweh Bashim was shy, the creator, the creator of all of all, the creator of the ends of the earth, fainted not, neither is weary. There is no searching of his understanding. Once again, our, the power of Yahweh Shah, our power, the creator of all things, and the power is limitless, man. Okay? And the Lord got so much a store for us as a nation, as us, the Lord chosen people. Okay? Because when our kingdom is established, it's going to last forever, man. Eternal, uh, eternal life, eternal rulership. And that's what we're seeking. And that's what we're waiting on. Okay? And it says, There is no searching of his understanding. He giveth power to the faint. And we're faint. Okay? As Israelites as a whole, we're faint. But only the elect is calling out. Ezekiel chapter 9 verse 4. Those that sigh and cry for all the abominations that be done in the midst thereof. And those that's doing that, they're going to be delivered. The elect. Okay? To walk. For that word mark there. Okay. To be exempt from judgment. The elect. Okay. So as a whole we're faint. And it says he give power to the faint. And to them that have no might. He increase strength. Okay. And this is going to go into a, a physical increase. Okay. But it starts with the spirit. Okay. That the Lord is strengthening us. In the times that we're coming into. And it says, he give power to the faint and to them that have no might, he increase strength. Even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young man shall utterly fall. You see that, man. Okay? This generation, man. Okay? And, and, and you know, brothers that's in the faith, young brothers. Okay? And I'm young myself. And brothers that younger than me. Okay? Catching hell and dealing with ailments and this body. Because it's due to... The way how we've been brought up now, uh, and how everything has been poisoned and tainted, okay, the, the, the air is polluted, the water, the food, okay, this whole world, is, it, let alone here in America, is just uh, uh, polluted, okay, so we're faint, okay, even from the, the, to, the, from, to, the to the youth, okay, because you, you, in your youth, you're supposed to be at the, the top of your strength. Okay, that way you're more mobile. That way you're more, you know, energetic. Okay? But you see us as a, a nation, when it comes to the youth, man, we're through, man. Okay? That's why Yahweh shot to come back. But for those that wait upon the Lord, okay, the youth, and even unto those that truly believe in Yahweh Shah, the youth and, the, you know, the old. Let me continue on. And it says, even the youth shall faint and be weary, and the young man shall utterly fall. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Okay, so that sounds like a miracle. Okay. 
and they shall mount up with wings as eagles. Okay, and this is going into actually flying, okay, physically. Okay, the Lord going to give his men spiritual power. They're able to fly. Okay. And they shall run and not be weary. Hey, they're, they're, they're able to run and not to get tired, man. The ultimate st statima. Okay. Limitless. And they shall walk and not faint. Okay. So, Yahweh Shemel Shah is going to store that power. Okay. And we believe that it's going to happen on this side as well. Okay. But when the kingdom is established, hey man, that's going to be it. Because in the kingdom, we ain't going to have these flesh. Okay, we're going to have that angelic body. We're going to have that new body. Okay, with the covenant, the new covenant, meaning the new, the law, statute, commandments in our inward parts. And we're never going to die. Okay, and we're going to have all power that's going to be given unto us through the spirit and the power of Yahweh Bashim was shot. Okay, and then the power is going to be limitless then. Okay, as it says, man, we're going to be able to, to fly, to run. Okay, do all type of works and acts through the spirit and power you have by Shema was shy. Okay, be able to control the elements. Hey, that's our power, man. Okay. That's it on that. But on this side, man, if we believe that Yahweh by Shema Shah is going to lift up that standard and let the world see a, a sneak preview of what's really going to come in the kingdom when it comes to the power of Yahweh by Shema was shy. And through the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. Matter of fact, let me get this real quick. I believe that's what on uh, Revelation chapter 11. Yep, right here. Yep. Revelation chapter 11, verse 3. And it says, And I will give power unto my two witnesses, and they shall prophesy a thousand and two hundred and threescore days clothed in sackcloth. Okay. You know the understanding of the two witnesses that actually go back to Joshua and Jerusalem. 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 Okay. But it's also going into the two witnesses of the northern, the southern kingdom. In the northern kingdom, which together is the uh, the nation of Israel. And it says, These are the two olive trees and the two candlesticks standing before the God of the earth. And if any man would hurt them, fire proceeded out of their mouth and devoured their enemies. So they're going to be able to have the capability to shoot fire out of their mouth, to shoot fire out of their, their hands, out of their eyes. Okay, like, like these comic uh, uh, books. Okay, these superhero uh, comics, okay, such as Marvel, DC, okay, Dragon Ball Z, okay, we look at, you know, individuals that's into anime, you know, I'm into anime, I always, you know, grew up off of it, you know, so I always, always fend about that spiritual power, and then coming to the, the, the truth and actually know that it's going to exist, okay, that should boost your faith up even more. That Lord going to store that power to the Negro, Latino, Native Americans, us, the Israelites, man. Okay. And we're going to be like, um, Kenshiro, uh, and, and, and Rio off of, um, Fist of the North Star. Okay. Brothers that's into that, man. I always be telling brothers about that, man. That anime. Okay. Anime that came out in the mid eighties, Fist of the North Star, man. With Kenshiro and his brother, um, Rao. Okay. Or Ryo. Okay. And, you know, just naming a few. And, you know, that those anime, man, they give you an insight into what we're going to be able to do, man, and more. Okay? And it says, And if any man would hurt them, fire proceedeth out of their mouth and devoured their enemies. And if any man would hurt them, he must in this manner be killed. Okay? That's the power that Lord going to store upon his elect. These have power to shut heaven that it rain not in the days of their prophecy and have poor and have power over waters to turn them to blood. And that actually happened. OK, during the time of Elijah. OK, we sh shut up the, 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 the heavens from, from the stop raining. OK, for a plague. OK, that caused a drought. And in the time of Moses, 
uh, when the, the uh, turn the, the whatever it is, the Nile River or certain rivers in, in the Egypt into blood. OK, but the point is that Lord going to give his man that power. OK, to do these uh, uh, these miracles, these acts. OK, to control the element. And it says. And it says, and they have power over the waters to turn them to blood and to smite the earth with all plagues as often as they will. So there ain't going to be no limit, okay, to the spirit and power of Yahweh Bashim Yahshai or what he's going to store upon his elect men. And so once again, man, brothers, that's in the faith, man. And Lord got a lot uh, uh, in store for us, man. Okay, once again, I pray Yahweh Bashim Yahshai that I'll be found favored and, have, and be worthy. Okay, of the glory, grace, and mercy that I can receive that power. Okay, okay. First of all, in my mind frame to receive salvation. Okay, and to see the Lord to have mercy upon me. You know, in the spirit of repentance, man. Okay, and that's what's first. Okay, coming back in that humility, spirit, serving Yahweh was shy, being repentance, acknowledging your sins, acknowledging Yahweh Shemia was shy, the only true power that can forgive you for your sins. Okay, and continue on the fight. And once again, the Lord is going to restore that power. He's going to deliver. Okay. And we're going to be joint heirs with Yahweh Shai. Well, all long as we continue on in the faith and endure. That, that what point we had in at now to endure. Okay, and to be patient. Okay. And the scripture says, those that wait on the Lord, wait on the Lord shall renew their strength. Once again, Isaiah chapter 40. Okay, verse uh, um between what 30 28, 30, 28 and, and 29. Okay. Wait upon me to rise up against the prey. Okay, so it's all about waiting and suffering and enduring. And in the meantime, keeping the faith and keep doing the work and pushing the will of Yahweh by Shemiah was shy. And we're gonna receive the reward. Okay, and the reward is uh, uh ultimately salvation uh, and rulership. But well, part of that reward is as well spiritual power. Okay. That's it on that. And I'll close out with this. I'll get, go ahead and close it out. This is Luke. Um, let me get there. Luke chapter 10, verse 16. And it says, he that hears you, hears me, and he that despise you, despise me. And that's majority of our people, okay? They despise you, how about Shemiah was shot. But those that hear the true prophets and can uh, conceive it and, 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 and convert, hey, they actually convert into you, how about Shemiah was shot, okay? Because the Lord just set up the prophets to be a representation of him, okay? To be the, the, the mouth of Yahweh Bashim was shot. Okay, so it's not actually of the Lord's men, but it's the spirit that's in the men of Yahweh Bashim was shot that bringing forth this word. Okay, that's how the Lord always wrote. Okay, but those that hear the words of Yahweh Bashim was shot, they're converting to the Lord's word. Okay, to be healed, to be delivered. But it also says, and he that despise you despise me. So those that come against us, okay, start with the apostles and elders. A great millstone those on down in the spirit of the Lord, the true spirit. They actually despising Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. Okay. And he that despised me, despised him that sent me. And that's the majority of these uh, people. Okay. They despise Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, even amongst those that know the Israelites. Okay. Where they not uh, uh, exalt the name of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, teaching against the name of the Lord. Saying that's not the name of the Lord. Teach against what's in the, 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 the true doctrine, the true sound doctrine. Bringing in damnable heresies and not willing to take the rebuke and the correction. So they actually despise it. Yahweh was shy. And it says, verse 17, and the 70 return again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy name. So these 70, Okay, the believers or those disciples that follow Yahweh Shai, the Lord Yahweh Shai gave them power to cast out devils, okay, which meaning, you know, demons. 
Okay, casting demons off of people, man. Healing people. Okay? That was uh, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai that Lord store upon them. And it's going to come again. Because once again, the true believers of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai is here. Coming in the form of the, at the time of the elect as also back then. Verse 18. And he said unto them, Oh, let me, let me read 17 again. And the 70 returned again with joy, saying, Lord, even the devils are subject unto us through thy names. Once again, the name. Okay, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai. That's where the power source lie in. Behold. And it says, verse 18. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Okay, and the Satan represent what? Back then it was the Roman Empire, the physical counterpart. Kind of of Satan, which are the Edomites, okay, and they're back here today ruling, okay, which they still are the physical counterpart of Satan, and their kingdom is falling as lightning, quick, okay, and this place is going down. Verse nineteen. Behold, I give you, I give unto you power to tread on serpents, and scorpions, okay, and all these people out here, they come in in the, the mind frame of a. A, a serpent and a scorpion Two-thirds of our people You saw Edom and these heathens Okay Cause we, a, a, a serpent can be known to be What daily And a scorpion as well man Okay And it says And over all the power of the enemy Okay right now Two-thirds of our people are our enemies You saw Edom and they see the nations They are our enemy Okay And it says and it says, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Uh, what that sound like, man? Spiritual power. Okay? It's a term like on um, they use when it comes to, you know, like Superman. I think one of the his uh ability is to be what well, invulnerable. Okay, meaning that nothing can penetrate him. That's why he got the name of the man of steel. Okay? And through the, the spirit of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, once that spirit of the Lord is stored upon his men, ain't nothing going to be able to penetrate the men of the Lord. No, as the scripture says, no weapon formed against thee shall prosper. Okay, so all the weapons that Esau have and the imagination that these people have against the Lord, men, they're trying to cause the men of the Lord harm. And that time, once again, the Lord going to lift up that standard. Okay, you're going to have certain men that's going to be martyrs, but they're going to be risen up. Okay, when Yahweh Shah established the kingdom, but for the most, hey, the Lord's elect is going to be covered. Okay, and they're going to be invulnerable. Okay, and unstoppable, man. And that's how it's really going to be fully in the kingdom. Nothing's going to be able to, to, to harm us or, or take us down. And it says, and nothing shall by any means hurt you, notwithstanding in this rejoice not. That the spirits are subject unto you, but rather rejoice because your because your names are written in heaven. So that's what we're rejoicing in. Okay, us brothers of the hopeful elect, that our names are written in heaven. That we part of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, first fruits. Okay, the elect. Okay, and that's what matters. Okay, because the elect is the first fruits, and the elect is gonna be the ones to be the first one to get first dibs on that power, man. And that's what we're striving to work, fight for, to be part of that elect, to be delivered, and to be uh, uh, granted with that spiritual power, with the power of the Heavenly Father and His Son, okay? Because, like I say, two-thirds, they're going to be destroyed, man. <clears throat> okay, they look at the enemy as well. And when the Lord gives his man that power, and two-thirds going to feel it, these scoffers and these scorners, Esau, Edom, these, and these heathens, okay, but when the kingdom is fully established, when the two-thirds come back as the uh, children of the elect, hey, they're going to inherit that power as well. But right now, it starts with the elect. And that's what we're striving to be part of, of the true, sincere brothers that's in the faith and doing the work and ultimately having the faith and exalt the name of Yahweh by Shemiah was shot. So I'm going to go ahead and end the lesson here. And I pray that the lesson may edify. So once again, man, you know, we come into times of Jacob's trouble and all hell about to break loose, the trials and tribulations. But for us, uh, uh, that's of the elect, hey, we got to continue on the fight and keep pushing, man. Okay, to make our calling, give, giving diligence to make our calling election sure. Okay, 
And, and the Lord is going to do his magnificent and marvelous works, man. When it comes to uh, that, 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 those miracles, those spiritual powers, man. And we pray that we found worthy that the Lord store that power upon us, man. But it is coming. And I won't mind having it. I'll tell you that. Okay? And I know as other brothers as well, man. Okay? Especially, you know, start with the, the apostles and elders, you know, and the bishops and the brethren on down, man. Okay? So we got great things coming, man. Okay? We just not had the, the Passover. Okay? That was, you know, very heavy, man. Brothers that gathered. You know, at, at a, uh, of a Solomon assembly with a a, 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 a sincere and, and serious mind of what we're about to enter into, how the Passover at this time represent Yahweh Shai, okay? While majority of our people, they don't know about the Passover. Majority of these Israelites, they use the Passover, take it as a, a party. And at the meantime, they speaking all type of damnable heresy, all type of false doctrine. So we're in the time of the Lord bringing that true separation Okay, between the true worshipers of Yahweh Bashim Shai and those that don't worship Yahweh Bashim Shai at all, man. Okay, those that are false prophets and phonies, and those of our people that's completely into the world. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and end the lesson here. Once again, I pray that the lesson be edifying. And keep fighting, keep pushing, Akim. Okay, into the uh, Akwaf, the sisters, and keep being obedient. And Yahweh Bashim Shai definitely. It's about to bring their deliverance, man. Okay? In the times that we're coming into. And the miracles are coming. Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is coming. Okay? We truly believe that. We got to keep believing. Okay? For the majority of our people in the rest of the world, they forget them about them. It's already written. They done. We pray Yahweh Bashim Yahweh that we be delivered, man. Okay? Be more acquired how the righteous shall be saved, as the scripture says. I'm going to give all praises unto Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashim, Rakak Kodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders and bishops of great millstone that teach and rule well today. The salutation also to the fellow laborers that's in the ministry that pushing the word of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai in all truth and sincerity. And the believers that scattered worldwide that's in the faith as well, exalt the name of Yahweh, Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. Until the next time, Lord willing, Shalom.